Okay, so today I am going to model this simple weapon sight. I'm actually following a tutorial um, by Adon Garasu uh, that was originally made for Moi 3D. Um, for me, following tutorials is helpful because uh, I'm not an artist and it can help me like test all the features of my app and find bugs and tweak the workflow. But uh, but anyway, yeah, that's this is the basic idea. This is a relatively simple model. And so um, plasticity is basically powerful enough to model simple things at this point. Anyway, let's get started. OK, so today uh, we're making a weapon site. We're following a tutorial. I have uh, never used a gun before, let alone a weapon site. So uh, I have no idea what I'm doing really, but this will hopefully come out cool. Um, first, we're going to cut the base shape out of it. Um, and I'm just going to match with that. All right. Um, I'll bevel these edges. Give this a slightly more generous bevel. And then I'll mirror that along X. And from there, um, oops, we can oops, uh, make our base shape. That looks reasonable. Um, from the side view, we can make a couple cuts like this. Fillet you and cut. Sounds good. Don't really need this curve. And again, I'll do the other side. I don't know, something like that. Seems reasonable, I guess. Um, don't need those. So we're gonna. This is a, this is a weapon site. So we're gonna hollow this out. There's a couple ways to hollow this out. So for example, I can um, select. Uh, well, let me let me hide this. We'll join you and hide it um, from the front view. I can select these faces. Um, and I can use the um, shell command, which would be fine. Or I'm going to follow the tutorial technique, which is to use this curve to offset it a bit, maybe a little bit more. And then with that curve, let me hide this guy. Um, we can cut a hole. That looks reasonable, I think. Now, uh, we're going to add some basic fillets. Let's zoom in, maybe, uh, on these corners. They can be uniform. It doesn't really matter. And then for... Uh, these edges, I'm actually going to make, we're going to make them a chamfer just like in the tutorial. I think it seems reasonable. I'll do the same thing here. Let me, let me hide this. All right. That's it. Uh, yeah, something like that. All right, so we have our basic shape. Now, once we bring back, um, I guess I don't need this outer curve. Once we bring back uh, our, uh, our basic cutter shape, we can use this to make uh, an indentation for the glass part of the site. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is we're just going to extrude this to some reasonable thickness. 
I'll move it along y um, till we have like a reasonable place. And then I'm going to scale it. Oops. Move it along y till we have a reasonable place. And then I'll scale it on everything but y so that we can use it to cut. So from the side view, from the front view, maybe a little bit more. Um, now I'll use that guy to subtract from this shape and that should give us a nice little indentation. Let me hide that, oops, alt H. Let me hide this for now. And we're gonna just uh, take all of these curves and do, well, I think I want to do a chamfer. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. And then uh, so that's all good. And then if we bring back the glass, um, move this along y, move this along y. Well, let's go to the top view. Looks basically fine. Okay, so that's the basic shape of the site. And again, like I've never used a gun before, so I have no idea what this is really supposed to look like. So there's a button here, um, which uh, the video makes like this, I guess, GY, Z. Okay, that's the basic shape of it. And so we'll do that. I think I'll Boolean union these together. We'll put a generous fillet there. Um, we don't really need these guys, so we can just delete them. Oops. Here we go. And uh, from the top view, that looks a bit. That looks a bit weird. Um. Now let's select these three faces and move them along Y. Uh, I think that looks good for now. And then we can tweak this to be a bit more generous, but then that also makes me want to move this along Y again. I don't know. I'm I'm not an artist. I think that looks reasonably good, maybe. Okay, now from the side view, um, there's supposed to be a hole here. I don't know, something like that. And we'll just cut that. Looks fine. I don't really need that. Um, I'm not sure what side the hole is on, so I'm just gonna get rid of that one. Sorry. Boolean union. And then this one I'm gonna delete. Uh, we can fill it these. I guess that is fine. Okay, and on the same side, closer to this, is a large round button. Okay, so from the side, oh, the other side, do, I don't know, a circle. Well, Let's make let's make this a cylinder. Uh, 
And okay, we're just extruding this on the x-axis. That's obviously way too big. From the top, that's probably reasonable. And then we're going to move this in a bit. I don't know, that looks fine to me. We can union these together uh, and then give this like a really big fillet. I think um, he uses a lot more space for this. So what I'll do is, what is okay, oh, make a cut there. Maybe more there, okay. And we'll use that to cut. Um, this is supposed to be like a rubber button, so it's very round. And then I think uh, oh, this one has a chamfer. All right, and then let's move this back. Something like that, if I recall correctly. But maybe there's a chamfer here also. Oops. Yeah, that looks reasonable, I guess. From the top view, you can move this over just a little bit more. Now, he makes a big Boolean cut here, so uh, what I'm going to do is just create a sphere right at the center of this face that's quite big. We'll move this over, and then I'm going to subtract this. We'll put it into place after the Boolean is set up. Oh, wait. I want this minus this difference. Zoop. Zoop. Okay, that's good. That needs a little fillet. I don't know. I guess looks reasonable. And then from the left side, he makes a bunch of buttons. Um, actually, it's got to be a centered rectangle. Something like this. OK, let's move this. Oops. GZ. Um, let's scale easy, sorry. And then let's scale this screen space. We'll give this a tiny fillet. And then from here, um, if we extrude it a bit, then we can do a radial array like that. I don't know why that center one always appears. But uh, yeah, something like that. Let me move them into place. GX, cool. And then with this, we can have Boolean union them together. And that looks good. Now, a trick that sometimes works is if I go to edge mode where I'm only selecting edges and I select, wait, did these not get, and I select the union of it. Ah, oh, yeah, it'll get those edges for me. Uh, Yeah, it looks reasonable. I don't know. I guess that looks pretty cool. Oh, another thing he does in the tutorial on the top view is he makes two cuts here. Uh, I'm going to scale that down a bit. OK, we'll duplicate that, move it along Y. Oops, 
didn't want to duplicate this. All right. These are not in the right place. I don't know, something like that. And then we can use, these are like screw holes. Um, we can make like cut here. Um, and cut here. And then delete these. And it's hard to select. Okay. This one, actually, I didn't really mean to make that cut. I'll union that back. And uh, give this tiny chamfer. Whoa, that's maybe a bit too big. Okay. Okay, that looks reasonable. I'm going to get rid of those curves. Don't need them anymore. Don't need that. Um, that looks reasonable, I guess. Uh, and then I guess we should make the two screws that go in there. Um, I guess the way that people normally make screws are... Let me hide some of these guys. Don't need that. Okay. The way that people normally make a screw is to make a cylinder and then make a hex guy that's six right to the edge. Then uh, we want the intersection. I think that's right. Looks vaguely screw-like. We'll offset this. And then cut through there. We could do threads, but it's really... It's really not necessary. I think I'll get rid of these bases curves. Um, we'll bring everything back. That is enormous. So I'm going to scale you until you're the approximate right size. And then I'll move you along Y. And then from the side, I'll move you along Z. I don't know, let's scale this guy along Z. Seems a bit excessive. And then this seems very unrealistic to me. And then we'll, we'll duplicate that, move it along Y. And in the top view, just make sure this is approximately centered. And then we'll rotate this along Z just to randomize it. Okay. Looks, I don't know, nothing like a weapon site, <laughs> I imagine. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool. Successfully did a basic model for today. <laughs>